I got some jokes that I'm tell you all real quick, you know. I'm no good in a strip club. You take me to a strip club, I'm gonna mess the whole night up. Cause I feel sorry for them women. I be trying to save them, you know? For real, like my friends took me to a strip club and this girl came up to me, she was like, hey, big daddy, you on the lap dance? I was like, yep, me and Jesus. <laughs> He's everywhere. <laughs> I went to go see this movie called uh, My Soul to Take. It was in 3D, it was the worst movie in the world. For real, me and this girl went to go see it and I'm sitting there like, we sitting there for an hour and a half with these 3D glasses on. I'm like, this is supposed to be in 3D? Ain't nothing even in 3D. And the girl I was with, she was like, yeah, this is the worst movie ever. Ain't nothing in 3D, ain't nothing came in my face yet. I, I wish something would come in my face. And I was like, hmm. I got 3D at home. I don't trust a black man who ain't got a mustache. <laughs> I don't. If you're a black man, you ain't got no mustache, don't say nothing to me. You creepy or something weird. <laughs> For real, man, you gotta have a mustache. Like white guys, y'all cool when y'all cut y'all mustaches off, but black dudes, they don't just, they don't look right. There's something wrong, you know? I did a commercial with Raja Rondo, who played for the Boston Celtics, you know what I'm talking about? I, go, I did a commercial with him. As soon as he came into the room, he was like, Dion, you're funny as hell. I was like, what the f is your stash? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me how funny I am. Where's your stash, boy? <laughs> I don't trust nobody who wear all white, neither. You ever see these people? They come out the house, all white jacket, all white shirt, all white belt, pants, shoes, socks. Who do you think you are that you're not gonna get dirty today, huh? <laughs> you that responsible today that you ain't gonna lean on nothing and get dirty? I ought to kick you in your back and send you home. <laughs> when I moved out to LA, they told me I had to work out. And I was like, I don't want to do that. And they gave me this training. And the dude was like, yeah, you got to work out. You got to work on your tries and buys and all that. The most important thing, you can't eat late in, at night or you'll get fat. And I'm like, forget that. You're supposed to eat late at night. He was like, no, you're not. I'm like, well, why they put a light in the refrigerator? <laughs> Too smart for them chumps. And there's a lot of women out in L.A., man, they got phony breasts. I mean, that's cool, but, you know, I ain't that kind of guy. You know, if I'm making love to a woman, she got phony breasts, and they sitting there like two stiff-ass rocks, I don't like that. I like that plain propeller effect. You know what I'm saying, fellas? You know, you going off, and they swinging around like that, trying to hit her in the head with them. I like to do it real fast by the window so I can save my gas money and she fly home. <laughs> Call me. Okay, cool. Um, another thing about being in LA, it's a lot of porn stars out there too. You know, it is. And uh, they come to my shows a lot. It's this one porn star, he go by the name of Wesley Pipes. He be wrecking women too, man. He be going off. But it be so funny, cause when he has sex with them, he be talking cash. But the stuff you be saying be so funny, you can't even jag off right, cause you be too busy laughing at what he be saying. <laughs> like he was hitting this one girl one time, he was like, yeah, you like all that thing in there, huh? Take all that thing in there. I know you like all that thing in there, don't you? Take all that thing in there. Make that thing disappear. Oh, what you doing, my thing, girl? What my thing at? I'm at home like, who talks like this? I ain't never said nothing like that. I kind of like that, though. I think I'm going to start talking like that. 
I ran into him. I ran into him on Hollywood Boulevard. I didn't even know it was him. I just bumped into him. I was like, "Excuse me," and I looked, and I was like, oh, "Wesley Pipes." <laughs> but what was weird was he knew me. He was like, "Dude, you a comedian, ain't you?" He was like, "You funny as hell. I got you on tape." I was like, "I got you on tape too." <laughs> Shook his hand, his hand was wet as hell. I was like, I hope he didn't just get off work. <laughs> Usually a comedian leave on a real big joke at the end where they go, huh, 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 huh. good night, and everybody be like, ha. Ah. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Thank you, New York. <laughs>